Hey everybody, welcome back to the next part of my uh, DVD collection overview videos. And in this, uh, in this uh, video, we're going to take a look at my fantasy movies. And uh, those run from here uh, down to here. So it's not a large uh, section, so this won't be too long a video either. So let's get started with the fantasy movies. Um, first off, we have um, some great... Uh, Ray Harryhausen uh, animation, uh, stop action uh, animation with Clash of the Titans. Love uh, Ray Harryhausen movies. Need some more of those. Um, next we have uh, Conan the Barbarian. This is uh, from about three or four years ago. Uh, fun movie. Great movie. Uh, next we have uh, the Arnold Schwarzenegger collection. Uh, Conan the Complete Quest which features both Schwarzenegger uh, Conan movies, uh, Conan the Barbarian and uh, Conan the um, the Destroyer. Thank you. I couldn't think of the name of it. Yeah, Conan the Barbarian and Conan the Destroyer both uh, <clears throat> in this set right here. Uh, next we have uh, Jim Henson and the Muppets classic uh, The Dark Crystal. Um, yep. Fun movie. Next, we have a uh, double feature of uh, Dragonheart and uh, Dragonheart A New Beginning. Uh, next, we have Dragon Slayer. No, I do not have Puff the Magic Dragon. Uh, next, we have Drew Barrymore and Angelica Houston in. Uh, Ever After, again, another one of my uh, one of my wife's favorite movies. Sorry, I'm getting a really bad glare from the from the lighting on that one. I was trying to find an angle. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Let me try. Uh, I cut down one of these lights here. I don't know if that'll help any or make it make it worse but uh, we'll see what happens all right speaking of uh, Ray Harryhausen another classic the golden voyage of Sinbad <clears throat> love that one and of course you have to have Jason and the Argonauts one of those movies that I grew up watching uh, on Saturday afternoons as a kid was on uh, local TV a lot on Saturdays gotta love those Oops. Uh, next we have uh, the director's cut of uh, King Arthur with uh, Kira Knightley. Uh, another uh, childhood favorite, uh, The Long Ships with uh, Sidney Poitier and uh, Richard Widmark, uh, Russ Tamlin, uh, that you may remember from West Side Story and Twin Peaks. Uh, fun movie about uh, Vikings and Norsemen and uh, sailing and all that good stuff. All right, now we have the uh, first three of the Lord of the Rings movies. We have the Fellowship of the Rings. We have uh, the Two Towers and uh, the Return of the King. I uh, do not have the latest one the Hobbit that came out. Um, here we have the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And we have uh, Prince Caspian. And uh, The Voyage of the Dawn Trader. So I have those three from the um, Chronicles of Narnia. I'm going to set that one right there a minute. Uh, next we have Pan's Labyrinth. Uh, great uh, Guillermo del Toro. Uh, fun fantasy movie. Love it. Very nice. Uh, next we have um, four Harry Potter movies. I don't own them all, obviously. Uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Uh, Prisoner of... Uh, Azkaban, 
and uh, the Goblet of Fire. Those are all the Harry Potter movies that I own. I uh, hope to finish that collection here someday in the not too distant future. Uh, next we have, uh, of course, the classic Princess Bride. Everybody loves the Princess Bride. Jim Carrey and Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. And last but not least, we have Nicolas Cage in Season of the Witch. So, uh, yeah, that's my... Uh, that's my collection of fantasy movies, all right? Uh, now we get to the good stuff, uh, horror movie collection, and it's going to be uh, quite lengthy, so it'll take me a while to get through all of those. So uh, get some popcorn and a uh, nice soft drink, and sit back and relax, prop your feet up, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.